come from a small family currently staying in Mumbai. My father and my brother are in working in finance department and they wanted me to do the same. But I always believe that my passion is coding. Usually in Indian family what happens the father is considered to be the real boss but in actuality the mother is the real head of the family. So once my mother is convinced convincing my father is pretty easy for my mother. When I joined university, I wanted to explore as a person who I was. So I did a lot of things other than computer science. And in 2018, I saw a video by Tanya Finlayson at Google I.O. She helped Google's keyboard team to integrate Moss code into the Google keyboard. And that is something that really inspired me to affect people in a positive way. After graduation, I started volunteering at a deaf animal institute near my place. After five to six months of spending time and learning sign language, I was still having problems communicating with them effectively. That's when I realized that somebody who does not know sign language will have a lot of problems communicating with a deaf animal person. I wanted to use TensorFlow and machine learning to get the images in real time from the camera and then translate them to speech. So basically it was gesture to speech. As any machine learning researcher will do, I searched on the internet for similar datasets. Although I found relevant datasets, these were not that I was looking for. Therefore, in the end, I decided to make my own dataset. So I wrote a Python script that was continuously recording different gestures. And at the same time, it was filtering out the background noise and I was just saving the skeleton images. I showed this initiative to my friends and they were pretty excited and they ended up spending a lot of time in, in, with me on collecting the data set. So I used Vision API to make my uh, images a bit more clean. Uh, but even after doing that, my machine learning model was not performing up to the mark. This is when I realized that with using sign language, you don't have to only depend on the gestures, but your facial expressions also play a very important role. Me and my friends after this, we went and took thousands of photos with both hand gestures as well as facial features. Of course, my friends were quite upset with me, but I think another pizza really kept their motivation up. Before incorporating facial expressions, my machine learning model was just predicting letters and numbers. After adding facial expressions, I could incorporate for much more wider gestures like being scared or being confused or if you understood something, you could do it very simply. So this really helped my machine learning model appeal to a wider audience. I do not feel well. Machine learning and TensorFlow helped me build a sign language solution for the communities in India. I believe that using the same technologies, people all over the world could solve issues for their own community. <laughs>